cursive. Are we really brothers? Brothers in cursive. Are we, are we really brothers? Brothers in cursive. Are we really brothers? Brothers in cursive. Are we really brothers? Would you tell me? Yeah. Brothers in cursive. Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from Death Squad Studios for a brand new episode of Brothers in Cursive. Here's David Lucas and William. Michael. Yeah, what's up, yeah, y'all? Yeah, what's up? CDC. CDC uh, put some new shit out. They said. Is that, that a rapper? Uh, oh, yeah. You ain't heard about CDC out of Atlanta, bro? Yeah, they work with uh, D4L? No, they work with WHO. Oh, I thought. Who? But D- WHO who? is with who? D4L. <laughs> <laughs> who? 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 Yeah, it's not who. It's who? They did the Laffy Taffy song. Laffy, they did uh, shake that Laffy Taffy. Check your temperature. Let's put give a moment of silence for D4L. They actually they're no longer with us. Actually, Shorty Low is dead. Who's Ashley? I said actually. Oh, Hell? oh, I thought you said Ashley. Shorty Low is dead. You know he died like three four years ago. What happened? Uh, car crash, dog. Ooh, what was but, he in a pickup truck? Nah, he was in a fucking. Uh, was he the back of a pickup truck? Nah, he was in an Audi. Like the Audi A seven Q seven. What happened? He hit a pole or something? He was on some shit, bro. He was leaving the strip club. You know how that shit go. Uh, yeah, I do know how that shit go. What was he on, I wonder? <laughs> uh, probably on that drink. Ooh, that drink. I can't remember. That was like four years ago. I love that drink. Did you ever get into drink? I mean, I like the the the, t- the formula of it, or the like grape. I love grape, and I like everything else, but I don't like the cough syrup part of it. I, I, drunk, I drunk lean Promethazine, once. is that what it does? Yeah, or codeine. Yeah. Coding. Yeah, I did it one time at high school. I drank an ounce of it, and then I drank two Bud Lights, Damn. and I thought I was going to die. Yeah, bro. That it shit, scared me. That stupid. shit made me feel like I weighed like two million pounds. It make you feel so heavy and slow you down, bro. Yeah, I thought I was going to go to sleep and never wake up. Yeah, I didn't go to sleep. <laughs> I just don't understand because like we used to have that just as cough syrup growing up, you know, and it was like, yeah, that's strong cough syrup, but I didn't, never thought like, oh, this is a great high. Robitussin. <laughs> In the South, we used to Robitussin mix- is different, though. Yeah, that's we- different than Promethazine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to mix uh, the Robitussin DM with Sprite in high school and yeah. call it a dirty lizard. Dirty lizard. Ooh, dirty lizard. Yeah. One of my favorite, that show where people are addicted to stuff, it was on like Lifetime. What was that show called? You uh, talking on TLC? Yeah, TLC. What's that show called? Uh, Intervention. Yeah, Intervention. One of my favorite interventions. The like guy was addicted to uh, robo tripping, and there's this wonderful scene where he's collapsed on a public sidewalk eating a flower. <laughs> what the fuck is robo tripping? Where you drink the Robitussin. If you drink oh, enough Robitussin, Robitussin oh, yeah. it messes with you. Isn't that where like the Houston rap scene got most of their like slow... like? No, that's they, from Lean. Lean. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Totally. The Prometheus... Chop, like, chopped and screwed. Chopped and screwed. And screwed. Ooh, there was yeah. a time when I was back at Memphis, I was buying uh, 3-6 Mafia albums, Chopped and Screwed. Mm. I loved it. The I slow down. DJ Screw, that's a real rest in peace. I was on that guy uh, died. I was on uh was it DJ Screw? I was on uh DJ Screw, yeah. Let me see. What's his name? Let me see. I, I can talk about it now because I think they casted him. Well, maybe not though. <laughs> yeah, if he's no longer with us. <laughs> no, so I was on uh I, I was on I don't know what is I can't remember this actor terminology, but I was on like hold avail. For DJ Screw, like pull up a picture of him, I can see like type DJ Screw. I see the similarities. I would have had to cut my hair and shit. What were you gonna do with DJ Screw? DJ Screw, I was gonna be in his movie. I was gonna that be guy. Him. Yeah. When did he die in the nineties? Yeah, he been dead a minute. But yeah, I was how on... were you? Were you child actor? No, this was like last year. The produ- the the guy who the producer oh, hit me DJ up. DJ Screw story. The, yeah, the movie's. Well, I don't know when it's coming out now, but uh, Anaconda was... too. Yeah. But yeah, I was supposed to be DJ DJ Screw. You were supposed to be DJ Screw. Yeah. What happened? That would have been a major. I mean, once you go through everything and you audition and you submit and well, I don't have to. He hit me. Well, once you audition and then uh, they brought me to Houston and I met with the family and then I read some lines and shit. Yeah. And after that, it's no longer. Y'all in my have hands. the same mustache. And the lips. I think the lips is what sold it. <laughs> <laughs> the lips. My Did you face, get that haircut, do you think, where it's shaped but with the swoop on it? Bro, it's going to be a six-figure check. Could you check. pull that off? I would have did whatever, bro. Could well, you pull that off, though? Yeah. Could Red Band pull that off? Hell nah. yeah. Y'all think I cut? Nah, bro. Come on. What he do got, you mean? Because he got eyebrows and you don't. <laughs> you missed the Kill Tony Monday. I had eyebrows, son. Oh, uh, yeah. Fake eyebrows Monday. Oh, God. You missed it. <laughs> 
Oh, by the way, I woke up today. I got to show you this video because it's driving me crazy. I woke up so angry because I saw this. Somebody tweeted this th- uh, video to me. Well, you watched it before you went to sleep? No, I watched it this morning when I woke up. I first watched it and I was like, Did you have a nightmare fuck? about and it? I got so angry. But then going through the thread of the tweet, uh, yeah. I guess the guy got caught. But you guys got to watch this. It's hard to watch. But this is what I woke up to. This is a oh guy that works at an old person. I don't want to see there's this. There's DJ no, no, Screw. No, it's, not, it's, it's sad. It's not bad. There is DJ Screw. Right. Um, just, what does he do? He's just punching him. This is old crazy, man. I don't, bro. You could play that guy. I don't want to see this shit, bro. Look at him. He's just fucking wailing on me. They're this. having fun. That's sad. Who set the camera? He did. Why? <laughs> exactly. He's an idiot. So how'd the video get released? He probably sent it to he his friend. posted story. it or something. Yeah. Oh, I love that peach colored uh, room. That's just as bad as that dude who worked at that, that hospital. Oh my god, he got him bleeding. Bitch ass nigga. Bruh. Fuck off my bed, nigga. That's my Fuck that's my grandma's ex boyfriend. Is that? Fuck off my yeah. That's Benjamin. Well, was Benjamin, Benjamin a black guy that looked real white? No, he's mixed. And there was a second video. Yeah, mixed. He yeah, actually yeah, posted yeah. a second video. Don't play it, man. This is crazy, bro. This is crazy. Look at that fist. That's how my fist looks before I punch people. God damn. Turn it off. Turn Get it off. this shit it. off. <laughs> I've seen enough. But, but right the, the fuck is going on here, Red Band? The positive thing is... Somebody, what? Somebody, <laughs> what's the good thing? He got COVID? No, <laughs> yeah, what's the good thing? Uh, these guys found his Facebook page. They found the the guy where the guy works, and the Detroit police uh, came in and arrested him today. That's not good enough for me. Let's give it up for Detroit PD, DPD. Yeah. If I was, I'll be honest, if I were a police officer, I would want to be a part of the Detroit Police Officer Corps. What about you, David? What police officer corps would you want to be a part of? Miami. What about you, uh, Red Band? Miami. Somewhere where there's no action. <laughs> so where would that be to you? Burbank? Uh, Powell, <laughs> Powell, Ohio. Powell Alto. <laughs> Burbank seems pretty innocent. Nah, Burbank, we got fucking shit going on all the time because <clears throat> all the bad guys come to Burbank to rob uh, everyone. And yeah, but hopefully by, hopefully by the time you catch and ride a Burbank, so you're out of jurisdiction. Yeah, you, as long you, as they're out of jurisdiction. jurisdiction. Can you imagine being a, a, a county sheriff and you can go anywhere in the fucking county? That's I'd not, love that. Would, but when I, my comedy doesn't work out, I'm going to become a county uh, county sheriff. Bro, I'm, I, I would definitely work in Miami, dog, and be a dirty police officer. What do you mean when you say dirty? Like not washing your hands or like stealing drugs? Both. I wouldn't Ooh. wash my hands before I steal the drugs. What? Yeah. Check. And sell it to people? This happened in Burbank two days ago. Right when I was done doing the podcast, I saw all these cops fly by me. And I'm like, what the fuck? And this ended right down the street. Why is the back open? He wants a breeze. Check this shit out. <laughs> I do like back windows. It's like a <laughs> forerunner. The street, through the intersection. This is Burbank. On, so, is that uh, a Volvo? What kind is, of uh, How do they have the miles per hour? What's that technology? Radar. You know, right behind. Oh, look at this. You just clipped him and hit. Watch this. Like shit just falling off out of his side. Oh, oh, clipped him. Clipped him. Did he go grocery shopping? What is that, a a Bentley truck? uh, It looks like a Mercedes. On Monterey, that CHP unit just clipped him and hit him. Now the driver is right down the street. Of course he thought he was going to go. Continuing on. Oh, and, look at uh, it. We lock our doors in Burbank. That's your buddy. backyard, right. Red Man. <laughs> Additional <laughs> units. Janice is back there. Oh, no. He tied. Right there. Yeah, that was right, like literally half a block away. How long do y'all think, really, how long do y'all think y'all could make out if y'all were in a high-speed chase? If I was in a high-speed chase, I'd definitely uh, take them through the airport where no helicopters can go. Yep, airport, a a parking garage, and an airport. Is that the move? Yeah. Yeah. Because I think about that some. So you drive to any airport, any city. Yeah, near cause, near cause, an airport. Yeah, because you lose the helicopters. helicopters. Do your crime near an airport. And then there's a tunnel at LAX. Uh-huh. So what do you do? Change your clothes? Do you put like a fake beard on? What do you do? You gotta you gotta be strategic with it, bro. You uh, it, it's so what I would do is maybe like have like a wrap on my car, so okay. I can just peel the color right off, go through the tunnel, make a quick Whoa. right. Yeah, peel the wrap, or like well, he said, go go in a, a garage, parking garage near yep. an airport. Order an Uber, 
You know? Get an Uber? Yep. Yeah, while you're driving, order an Uber to pick you up at For, a parking at garage. Airport, yeah. I've heard. Have y'all gotten Ubers recently? I've heard you have to have it's a face taken, mask. Yeah, yeah, and it's taking fucking forever, bro. I haven't used one in a while. Is I it taking a, forever? I used an Uber the other day, dog. I had to. I had to. Where were you going? Your wife's place? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to your wife's place. My okay, father. dude. Oh, come on. Yeah. People don't know I married somebody last week. Yeah, I got married. Uh, that's why I wasn't on Kill Tony Monday. In, I, I you got, were in Sao Paulo? No, I was in uh, Vegas getting married. I got married uh, in the Elvis Presley ch- chapel. Oh, my gosh. You're an Elvis Presley yeah. guy. Do you like, uh, what's your favorite song by him? I'm actually from Memphis. I'm a big Elvis Presley guy. Well, they're not his songs. He stole them from black people. Uh, Do you want to fight about that? Yeah. You serious? Yeah. What? But yeah, I got married at the Elvis Presley uh, chapel. It was dope. How was how was the service? How long did it take? It was like twenty minutes, bro. David, if I became a pastor where I could marry people in the future, if you found a nice lady or whatever, I don't want to get into the specifics. Would you allow me to marry y'all? Yeah. Red band. We've already talked about it. I'm marrying you and Janice. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah, it was so far. Perfect. Thank you so much. I now I have two people I can marry. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm a Jesus guy. I've told you. I'm going to say the Lord's Prayer. I'm oh, no, going to. I don't want that. What do you What do you want? Some Buddhist chants. Oh, God. What do you mean? Some. Um, um, some Black Hole Sun um, by Soundgarden. That'll be better. Do you like Black Hole Sun by Soundgarden? I'm going to marry. I'm going to marry you to some. Uh, I'm going to marry you to some eyebrows. Ooh, thanks. <laughs> some thick Perfect. ones. Perfect. Thick ones. You had some good eyebrows Monday. Yeah, I had some real good eyebrows Monday. I hate I didn't see it. Yeah, I hate you didn't see it too. What I was, happened? I was too busy getting married. Are you fucking with us? Bro, I got married. Let me... I'll show you, dog. What's her name? Uh, Isabella. Look at those Isab- eyebrows. Where'd you get those from? Look at that. <laughs> you look like a bitch. <laughs> Come on! You like a fucking yeah, you like you like to wear makeup. I notice when you when Bruh, you're not. You better stop watching that fucking transgender. Stop! Yeah, stop, stop yeah. I'm that, still. I'm watching that. that. I love it. You want to see my ring? My wedding ring? Let's see it. Was that amethyst? Bro, that's a uh, black diamond. <laughs> my black time. diamond wedding ring. Yeah. Is that amethyst? <laughs> I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring my wife on Kill Tony. You will? Yeah. Do you think we'll get along? I don't know. Would it bother you if we kissed? She's Peruvian. She, do, she doesn't speak a lick of English. Perfect. Well, she, I speak Peruvian, so. All she knows is yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's her right there. No, this is what William will look like when he finally transforms into a woman. <laughs> Would you all, will you all still let me on the podcast when Hell I, yeah. after I transform? So, oh, yeah, if you let us play with your pussy a little. And I'll be honest, I'm, I don't like the, the word <laughs> transition. I want to say transform. When I end up transforming. Ooh, what was that? A what about, uh, Predator 2 noise? Transform. Well, what about. Oh, I thought that was Predator 2 in Los Angeles. What about progressing? Is that better than transforming? Trans- uh, transitioning? Progressing. Is it progressing? Progressively, you're progressing. Is it, though? Progressing. When I finally have eyebrows, I'll be quite frank. I just hope y'all finally accept me. When I have some eyebrows, because it seems like a major theme after 105 episodes is y'all don't like my eyebrows that are not there. I don't get it. <laughs> I thought we were all buddies. Yeah, we'll see. Do you think once you become a woman, like you would let us play with your pussy a little? You better. Do you think I would let you? Yeah, like if you like, you know, before the show, if we just want to take a look at would it. Would you spit on it first? Yeah, we we'll get a little cream Okay, in there. as long as you spit on it first. Bro, I got to... Uh... <laughs> okay, stop! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, you guys are too much. Yeah, blessed. oh, my gosh. I got Oh, a, my uh, gosh. I got a shout-out on uh, The Bonfire for uh, me roasting Corey Feldman from uh, Dan Soder and oh, yeah? Big J. Okerson. I saw that roast. That's yeah. fun. Yeah. What did they say to you? Well, Dan Soder uh, basically uh, followed me, and Big J Okerson said he's glad that the roast ended or that he thinks I might have taken him down. That guy, I'll be quite frank, I loved him when he was on Goonies. After Goonies, 
I don't know what to think about Corey Feldman. Corey, I thought you meant Soder. I was like, what the <laughs> <laughs> I love Dan on Goonies. Well, that's nice. They said that. I watched the video. It was hilarious. Thanks, buddy. It was hilarious. David, when are you going to teach me how to roast? Uh, it's something. So you have to be very analytical when you roast. You have to pay attention. To I'm an every... analytical thinker. I William, think I... I like your style of roasting. You have a good style because give... it, it's hard to fight back. Give me a roast right now, like off the dome. Hit me with something. Quick, now. Okay. Um... Hey, what's up, Buckwheat? I saw you. Uh... Nah, not good. I know, I know. Um, you got to paint a I'm picture. Just, I, I try to paint a picture. Okay. Um, hey, Red Band, what's up? Uh, Bob's Big Boys. Uh, I didn't know you worked here. What <clears> happened? <throat> I got to work on it. That's why I'm asking you. So you got to think. You got to. So when I rose, I think like my thing that I try to relate is what does the person actually look like? So what? how would you get me right now? I tell you, you look like a... a tra- You're looking at my shirt? This is a yeah. hell of a colored shirt, though. I tell you, you look like a transgender pumpkin. Some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Or, How would you roast Red Band right now? I tell Red Band, he, he looks like he smelled like uh, French fry grease. Because <laughs> you, you could actually picture and that. And see, that's better than me starting out with, oh, Red Band, Bob's Big yeah. Burke, but just getting straight to the point. Sometimes some people are hard to like get a hold of like what they look like, but I'll just like shoot like four until something sticks and then I'll stay yeah. around there. Like with Tony, he looks like he could actually be gay. So it's like anything that actually. you... Actually. <laughs> anything... Who's Ashley? Y'all keep talking about Ashley. Anything that you say is going to get in between the gloves. Like if you say gay, transgender... So do you, in your daily life, do you... I roast all day in my head. But like a daily life, let's say you go to Baskin Robbins with me later on. We have a double date, whatever. When you see the person serving us ice cream, are you going to think about how you can roast them? And I'll probably say it out loud. Yeah. See, I got to work on that. Yeah. I don't always think about roast. Do you, Red Band? No. I, I'm not, roasting, I'm not a roast. I, I roast animals and everything. What would you say about like a, a chicken? I got to see it. Fair enough. Yeah. I'd be like, look at you looking like a future chicken sandwich. You know. What about an emu? Uh, uh, emu? That's emu. A, emu. Emu? That's like a llama, right? Emu. Emu or emu? Emu. What's an emu? Emu, emu? So it's like those things that spit on you. It's right? like a llama, yeah. It's like a llama, yeah. Yeah, what yeah. do you say about them? <clears throat> I had to see it, bro. I need to see it. Fair enough. Yeah. That's like brown hair. Mm. <laughs> Let's see one. See, I need... David. Oh, no. Emu's like an uh, ostrich. Yeah, an ostrich. Yeah. Look at that motherfucker. He got... Uh, he got meth meth addict eyes. <laughs> yeah, how fast do you run, dude? It's like he punches an old guy in a retirement. Black beak ass. <laughs> okay. That motherfucker looking like he ready to say, I love rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You know what I'm saying? So just like that. Bro, you look like Frederick do Douglass in the face. Th- Ooh. Yeah, you know. Like so t- do you think looks you like Tony Hinchcliffe me. getting his butt sucked by a guy? That motherfucker look like a Black History Month Tony Hinchcliffe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm number one emo. <laughs> that motherfucker actually look like a dinosaur in the face. Yeah, it does look like a, like a raptor. Or something. It's like a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, a dinosaur. See, is that a good roast that I just did? If Black I saw him, get your goddamn. Uh, you look like a dinosaur with a weave, some shit like that. You know? What yeah. I mean? What is that? A dinosaur with a weave? It's about how you say it. You got to say. It Hold on. Of. How can I say it better? Hold on. That looks like a dinosaur with a weave. So where I'm from? I'm we, so where I'm from? We do like this. <laughs> So where I'm from, like in the south, we call, we actually call roasting cracking. Like, okay. Like damn, bitch! I know you ain't trying to crack. I'm about to get on your goddamn steel toe boot wearing yeah. ass, stupid ass orange shirt wearing ass. Yeah. Look at your red beard having a you know Pink Floyd wearing <clears throat> ass. You, there you go. Yep. Hit it. Hit me with something else. Your earring wearing ass. There you go. Were you gay? Big boot. <laughs> Say big boot wearing ass. Big boot wearing ass. <laughs> Free lunch having ass. Stop doing that. <laughs> fuck. That yeah. means you're doing good. Free lunch having ass. Yeah. What do you have? Free lunches every day no, in your public free, school? Free lunch having ass. Okay. What's up with you with your free lunch having ass? And put the hand out. What's up with you with your free lunch having ass, Rabbit? Look. <laughs> boy, what the fuck that is, boy? Hey, Rabbit, what's that shit? You go to public school? <laughs> <laughs> Rabbit, your family poor? <laughs> I'm kidding. See, I can't. It can't be. It, you you got to know. I how, know. I know. You got to know how to teeter the line. If you're going to be offensive, like saying somebody's poor, you got to say it in a 
you can't just call them poor. You got to say, give them poor qualities. Yeah. yeah. I know. I'm working on it, y'all. <laughs> we'll get you straight. You're the master. Help me. I have had a couple of the roast roast battles. I did like three of them. Yeah. It was fun. I hate roast battles, bro. Do you ever do those? You don't do those, Not do you? anymore, bro. They were getting too racist for me. And I was like, bro. What do you mean racist? Because the motherfucker brought my daughter into it. And I'm like. But they say. Some white guy? Yeah. And some like, honky? Probably. What'd they say? Uh, How long ago was it? This is maybe like two, three years ago when I stopped. So the white dude said something like. Uh, uh, David has a lot of bitches that call him daddy because his daughter I, it was something about my yeah something, something weird and then a, a white dude told that same white guy was like uh david's funny as fuck can you imagine how funny he would be if his slave owner would have taught him how to write and i was like wow dog yeah i'm done with this yeah because i really beat your ass on this stage <laughs> right yeah, the roast stuff, that's so sort of out of my ability. Yeah. I did three of them. It was fun. It's a big audience up in there. Yeah, so I told him, I said, you know, if you ever get somebody who want to just come here, like, right now, like, like if I'm just there and you want to call me up and call somebody else up, it's whatever. Yeah. Like, a random person, you know, I'll do that. Another man. type of comedy. Yeah. Many types of comedy. Many types of comedy. Many types of comedy. Do you have that video I sent you where that guy sounds like you? Which one? The other day. Hold on, let me send it to Red Band. This guy sounds exactly like... Of any Luke. forms of comedy. I'm not a roast comic. And that's a type of comedy. You look like you sweat old socks. I thought you were about to say Old Spice. And I was about to go along with you. I'm currently wearing Old Spice. What kind of socks you got on? I have no socks on. I have my... Uh, you got your old My Red. Crocs on. No socks. I do wear Fila socks, though. Hey, Red Band, play this video. That dude sounds like William. Is he copying me? Yeah. Or well, he's been he's at it for 20 you. years. He's older than you. Uh, <laughs> this media has been disabled in response yeah, to Yeah, I did that. I did that. I, I, I got him off the internet. Wow. He was copying what me. What was it? Was it a, it was a, a bunch of jokes that I've said whole bunch of jokes i've said i couldn't deal with it anymore was it like from a movie or something no like the, it was that game where like they put their hand in the box like you can't see what it is oh uh, i know what you're talking about i, I didn't screamed. know what you were talking about it's yeah. some old guy yeah yeah, yeah. he sounded some just TikTok. like tiktok he sounded just like william i don't know how that video got reported that's weird on twitter that never happens but the video originated on uh tiktok <clears throat> so you believe I would not stick my hand in that box to be surprised by feeling a potato? <laughs> do you do y'all say potato or potato? Potatoes. Potatoes. Pot- what do you say? Potato. Potato. Red band says French fries. Taters. French fries. <laughs> y'all say taters. Taters. Tater tots. Tater tots. Do you like potatoes or tater tots? Better? I remember the first time I had tater tots. It was at my white friend's uh, Jamie's house. Jamie, is he still with us? I don't know. I ain't seen that motherfucker in 15 years. How, what do you think about, would you dip them in ketchup? Ketchup. Ketchup. What do y'all call, y'all call it ketchup or ketchup? I don't like ketchup, bro. What do you mean you don't like ketchup? I I don't like ketchup, dog. What do you dip your fries on? Whatever dip they got there, like, I'm a blue cheese Whatever dip? I like blue cheese. Or if I'm at Chick-fil-A, I'll fuck with the Chick-fil-A sauce. You like blue cheese over ranch? Yeah. What? What do you like, Red Band? I like ketchup. What about blue cheese over I like, ranch? I like uh, blue cheese better than ranch. Wingstop do y'all got, really? Wingstop got a bomb-ass blue cheese. I had Wingstop a couple evenings ago. What'd you get? What flavor? Oh, man. I got a whole uh, basket. Of what, nigga? I got... Uh, Did you get the fried corn? I got nothing with bones in it. Oh, you I gay. got you yeah, gay. nothing Ugh. with bones. What? You gay for real? I got boneless wings boneless and wings suck. I got boneless wings and what are those other things called that are just uh, chicken? Chicken fingers. Chicken fingers. So your gay ass got some boneless wings. You got some fucking adult chicken nuggets. Yup. <laughs> you gay as hell. Bro. Come on, dude. I'm transforming. You're you're tra- you're uh, not transforming. What was the word we used? I think it was transforming. No, you're progressing. 
Wasn't it transforming, though? But we're not going to call it a transformation. You're progressing. It's You're like, not going to call me a transformer? Nope. And that'd be funny if I turned into a, an Autobot. What kind of car <laughs> would I transform into if I transformed into a car, do you think? 87 Subaru. <laughs> what do you think? With a fucking check engine uh, light on. <laughs> like, a, like a Kia. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to say a 95 Ford Taurus. Anything that smells like cigarettes, you'll transform. Ooh, Hyundai Elantra. Ooh, yikes. <laughs> Stop! I'm an Autobot. What a what a what a Coke spill on the passenger seat. Ooh, yikes! Coca Cola. <laughs> you ever been to the Coca Cola Museum? I have, I have. and uh, you have. You ever drink that? Paducah, Beverly? Kentucky. Love it. You ever drink that Beverly? What's that? They got a drink called Beverly. Oh, it's really nasty. disgusting, yeah, but in, like other uh, countries love it. Yeah. What color is it? I think it's clear, like Sprite. What if does it taste like? Horrible, bro. What would you? <clears throat> what would you say it tastes closest to? There it is. Mountain Dew or? No, I can't even it's remember, bro. Beverly. Never heard of such a thing. A bitter such. Yeah, it tastes Discontinued like. Discontinued 2009. Oh, yeah, I ain't been to the factory in a minute. If I had to say what it tastes like, I'd say that shit tastes like grapefruit peels. Grapefruit peels. <laughs> 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 sort of like squirt. Do y'all like squirt? I like to make bitches squirt. Oh. You ever made a girl squirt? Uh, no, I'm working on it, though. Is that shit pee? No. It's not. It has traces of pee in it, but this so gr- does everything. What do you mean it out. has traces of pee in it? Cause it could, because it's it, it's just scientifically, it has, like, You've made pee, girls think, squirt? Every time I have sex, I'd make a girl squirt. Oh. I, I'm not believing it. You yes, that's how my dick is formed. My you, dick, right. <laughs> what do you, what my do you dick, tell the girl? Do you goes, tell her to get on top of you, or do you get on top of her? You need to be on top. What of her. move are you doing? Uh, you need to be on top of her. No, I, on t- I can. You do need both to ways. be on top. Is that what ways. you do? Yeah. So what I do to get it going, I take my finger. Is and- your weight not too much? And not saying that in a mean way, but is you being on top of a girl not too much? Girls that fuck with me love big niggas. Period. Are they big as well? No. And it's fine if they are. I don't fuck with no big hoes. Can they breathe? Yeah. You get on top. It's a form of choking. Yes. Yes. You get on top? BDSM. BDSM? Yeah. What does that mean? I hear people say that all the time. It means big dick, single man. Whoa. That's, well, that, descri- <laughs> that describes me. <laughs> no, it don't. Yeah, no, it don't. You're right. <laughs> so, What's your move, Red Man? I, <laughs> what? For what? When you're talking to a bitch... It maybe Bob's a big boy, right. and you take her back to your mm-hmm. cot. Yeah, does she get on top of you, or do you get on top of her? Uh, we usually start with me on. No, yeah, me on top. Are y'all kissing? Yeah, then we have her on top for a bit, and then a little doggy style to end it up. I like to, seriously. Yeah, I like a little dog. I, I like to. I like to finger a girl for a while, so I ain't got to do too much. What yeah, fingers I'll, I'll do y'all use? I'll eat out a girl for like thirty. The minutes. middle, and then you got to curve it, and then you got to hit that button back. You got to curve flower. it. Where's the button? In the back of the clip. You got to curve Use it. the middle finger? Yeah. Do you as well, Ratman? I use the whole hand. Can I Ooh, see what shit. you would do? <laughs> I, did the old, I don't want none of that pussy. I did the old twist and push. <laughs> twist and push. Can y'all teach me? See, so, I look, don't know. Get your pussy. Listen, we'll listen, bro. If you put your fingers in there and go like, as soon as you stick it in and go like this and try to act like you're trying to hit the clit from the what back. What does it feel like? A bone? It feels like uh, it feels like smooth elbow yeah. skin. No, it's it's just like cauliflower. It feels like a head yeah, of cauliflower. Feels, so feels, once you hit that, what do you do? Rub your stay finger on, on it, it. Stay like this. Stay on it like that. Yeah, yeah. just get it. Seriously? Going. Yeah. Is bro. that the move? Yeah. She gonna go Dig crazy. Dig your fingernail in it. Too. She gonna go crazy. And if you can eat her pussy, put your mouth on that. How do you dog. do? What do you do? I hear about that. What do you do when your mouth is on the? Uh, Suck it. Press it. Suck it? I like to press it against it and give it a lot of pressure. What, your mouth? My tongue. Press the tongue against it. I like to blow air in it and like make it inflate like a balloon. <laughs> I had a... Uh, Get that queef going. <laughs> I had a clown when I was a little boy who came to one of my birthday parties called Teardrop, who had a bunch of inflatable balloons. So. How do you do it, Will? What finger do you use? What the fuck? Why did you start talking about Teardrop? Because he crazy. <laughs> What what finger do you use? I man, give us a, give us an explanation of how you eat that thing. How do you, what? Oh, you, that's the titties, ain't it? That's how you do the titties, bro. Oh, like an envelope. Let me like a lollipop. And then I stop. 
because I realize what's going on. It puts me on edge. And you start praying. I start praying to Jesus. I start praying, do mm-hmm. I need to marry this lady? Because really, it's all, uh, it's all in the eyes of God, sort of a sin. Let so, me ask you, condom, yeah. or, condom or no condom? None. They raw doggy, bro. I'm surprised I ain't got like 15 kids. My pullout game. Really? Shit. Yeah, my pullout you game. You pull out? It'd be hard to sometimes, depending on how good it is. Because some girls... Depending how, how big she is on top of you? No, depending on how good... It depends oh, on, oh, oh. It depends on if a girl... Oh, no, I don't let girls... If I know I'm about to, you know, explode, I don't let girls be on top, because that's a way to trap you. Here's something I have a question about. Is it only me, or does it hurt having sex? What? Does it hurt y'all's penis? <laughs> it hurts mine. What the? She must have got some dry ass. Come Who's on, sad? does it hurt y'all's or is it just me? You better try some lube, bro. Yeah, you, you need some lube. It's not a lube thing. <laughs> yeah, you must it's have not a, a lube open thing. Open sores or something. Mm. It's not a lube thing. What hole are you putting it in, bro? It just hurts. What I don't you? know. I'm putting it in there and it hurts. You in the booty? I wouldn't say that. Y'all are telling me it doesn't hurt y'all. No, it's the opposite of hurt. What are you fucking talking no. about? Y'all are telling me it don't hurt y'all. Bro, that shit feel like sticking your dick in warm pudding. Yeah. It yeah. hurts me. It feels good, <laughs> and then it hurts me. Hurts when you nut or what? Yeah. It starts hurting. What? He's talking about Jesus and shit. <laughs> yeah. Come on, rat yeah. man. Yeah, you're emotionally hurt because you feel like come you on. feel like you just committed a sin. That's why. Come on. Yeah. That's what, I, I get it. You're hurt. Bringing him, getting him, pro- he's getting. Uh, <laughs> no, I was trying to get real with y'all. It don't hurt me though. Okay, fair enough. It I guess I'm sensitive. <laughs> when he got molested, is your penis pink in nature? No, nah. mine is. So maybe that's why it hurts me. I'm pretty brown, but my my thing is like is not quite this dark, but it's dark. It's way darker than my body. Does it? So is mine. Yeah. Oh, you got a black penis? Yup. My thing. <laughs> Red band, don't you too? No. Oh. I have a purple penis. <laughs> Red man got that pink meat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got that, you know, where you see the circumcision brown scar. Oh, you it, got you that know. Are you circumcised? Yeah. I'm not. Ew, are you serious? Yeah, that's why I think it hurts me. Oh, gross. No, I'm kidding. I'm circumcised. <laughs> have y'all heard that, though? Not to get into penis stuff, because my dad's <laughs> watching right now. Yeah. But have y'all heard people that are not circumcised, they have more feeling during sex? Have y'all heard that? Because they got extra Do skin. y'all believe that? They Is that true? Skin. It's true. They Is got, it true? They That's, got a fucking, they got a fucking skin condom around the head of their. What do y'all think about the crazy people who are like, oh, the babies you get them circumcised is bad? Do y'all think it's bad? No, I like the way my dick. It's looks like a health thing, isn't it? For it's, health, yeah, because you, there's a lot more diseases when it comes to yeah, you can get that, right. You can get that dick cheese. But I do start thinking about that. Like, is it more feeling? And I start thinking with me, it's. Man, it starts hurting. Well, I don't want anything else hurting on me. In my opinion, I don't need any more feeling on my dick. I don't need to come faster. Like yeah. if I could uh, take a little more off, I would. If it, you know, if I mm-hmm. could. Yeah, I would cut some of my penis off if I could just quit feeling this hurt. <laughs> maybe, Straight maybe your up. your hole is getting ripped. Maybe, yeah. maybe you got one of them cat dicks. <laughs> Cat ducks. That got barb wire on it. What do you mean? Barbs on Cat ducks. Cat dick. What I was about to say is straight up. You got and a, that is what uh, William got a liger. my favorite rapper says. You got a liger dick. Who's the rapper that says straight up? Straight up. Oh, Travis Scott. No, the guy from Atlanta who was uh, found in England and he got transported back oh, to England. No, he didn't get transported back to England. What's his he name? Of, uh, 21 Savage. 21 Savage. Do you like him? Yeah. It's my favorite rapper. I was on the Straight plane. up. I was on the plane with him, bro. And can you believe he was a fan of mine? Nuh-uh. From Roast Me. Can yeah. you get him on this podcast? We didn't know. I don't know, bro. Huh? I got you some got be- the guy on Lion <laughs> King on this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> you were going to. Well, yeah, COVID happened. He was here, but, you know, COVID happened. Get 21 Savage on this thing. <laughs> I love 21 Savage. How you going to act when I start bringing big celebrities huh? in? I know. That's what I'm like, I'm scared. <laughs> it's so oh, is that a joke? No, because there's is so, that funny? There's so many people that I'm like, oh, I should ask them to be on the... Which podcast can I... Well, but I you stop because I'm here. Don't tell me that. I've been quarantined for two months. Don't tell me that. That's so big, Will. There's my penis. Somebody got a picture. You see the red hairs. Um, on the side, it's not a tabby cat's. It's mine. Thank you so much, Red Band. That, do, I think, is why it hurts The me. girls that you smash, do they say it hurts too? They realize it hurts me, and they say, do I need to stop? And I say, yes. 
Maybe they fucking you too hard. Who you who doing the fucking you or her? All right, let's change these. No, you motherfucker, we got to find out. I'm Who's... starting to think that maybe the girl's digging her fingernails into his dick or something right. like trying to no, hurt him. No, it's nothing like that. I'm see... just saying. You ever seen that movie where the vagina had teeth? Yeah, Problem Child 2. No, nigga. It's called Teeth. Uh, it's teeth. She had, maybe Twins? That's, maybe that's what you got. Yeah. She the got vagina it. with the teeth assist. Okay, I'm kidding. That's why I want to transform. Because I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of this body God gave me. So you I'm be, sick of it. You're going to be laying on your back? Yeah, I'm going to be laying on my back. So how you going to say you love Jesus, but you're sick of the body that they gave you? Yeah. You serious? Yeah. You serious? Jesus came down to help us from the sins we're doing. Our God is, is an, an awesome, awesome God. He reigns from, from heaven, heaven and earth. Wood with them power and love our are William is an awesome God. God. See, my dad is loving this right now. <laughs> that was a good trumpet. But no, I'm just asking you. I'm just getting real with you. I'm just getting real with my buddies. What is that? What is this? Die Verzweiflung. Have you ever seen Religulous with Bill Maher? No, I don't like Bill Maher. I'm not watching that. I love that. You ever see, I know you've seen that, Red Band. Yeah. I love that shit. What do you like about it? That shit, he's funny, bro. What do you like about it? What's he talking about? He's anti-religious like me. I'm not anti-religious. I just, I'm like... A... I would bet your family back in Georgia is religious, aren't they? Mm-hmm. So why did you go away from that? Because I'm open-minded. Open-minded okay, you are, man. Red Redman, take it too far. What do you say? David, please... I ain't playing with it. Yeah, I ain't playing with it. Come on. <laughs> Get this off. Right, wow, bro. this hurts. <laughs> Get this one off. My parents watch this. Get this off. William, William's, I ain't playing with it either. <laughs> yeah, I ain't playing with it. Come on a second. Come on. Man, Red man Come too. on. I think Red Bag can have sex with this shit, though. Oh, hell yeah, I could. I could I probably th- come in that. Really? Yeah, it'd probably take me. It'd take me a little longer. I saw a dude did a Jesus joke one time that made me laugh. He said, "What how, was it?" He said, "How does?" I don't normally like religious jokes. He said, what was it? He said, "How does Jesus masturbate?" He said, "Like this." Because he got. The, I don't get it. What he, is that? Because he got the hole in his hand. <laughs> God. <laughs> Bro, Lord, I'm so, sorry. That shit was so funny. Bro. Lord, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's crazy. What the hell? What was that? Uh, who did that? You praying and the lights came on? Yeah, I mean, Lord, I'm. That's what I've always, in Uh-oh. regards to stand up comedy, I don't think either one of y'all do it, but like politics and religion. Do y'all get into that in comedy? Religion, I got a couple of religi- religious jokes about Jesus' mind being me too. Do you, Red Man? I like mixing uh, religion with politics. I think it's a good if idea. If it's fun, I'm talking about with jokes. No. See, I've never been a person. I, like I don't to... find that funny. I do. If there's something funny, I'll listen to it. But it scares me. Why? Because I'm going to die one day. Maybe in a submarine. Maybe in a spaceship. And maybe I'm going to cremate in... your ashes and build a foundation in my house. Are you really? Yeah. That helps me. Seriously? I got you, dog. My I, point I is, I'm not doing religious me. jokes because I worry about that. I the old God in heaven, he's seeing me. He's helping me write jokes. But when I write these devil jokes... Does Jesus make you drink all that liquor, too? Mm, who that's you, a fun one. Who can you blame that on? <laughs> that's a pretty fun one. Yeah. I like that one. <laughs> that's really funny. Who do you blame that on? Huh? Who do you blame that on? <laughs> Oh my God! Stop! Come on! Jesus died for our sins. I'm yeah. sinful right now. Did we he, all. He died for it. That's he died why. For, I be, that's he, why I tend to believe in him. Did he die for you to get drunk every day? Wow. Maybe he did. Oh, wow. he did turn water into wine. Yup. He did befriend Zacchaeus up in the sycamore tree for I the mean, Lord he wanted to see. There's a couple of things in religion that sound a little cultish to me. What are you talking about? Like, uh, what is it called? The uh, when you eat the 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 shit, the crackers and the wine. I don't know what you're communion, talking. Communion, communion, chameleons. Yes, Chameleon. the lizards. Communion. Oh, oh, 
Wow, don't make fun of religion. Yeah. Communion, dog. But that sounds a little cultish. Eat this it's bread. It's fine. It is what it is. Eat this bread in remembrance of my body. Drink this wine in remembrance of my Hell blood. Hell yeah. Of think, my blood. Drink my blood. Think about, think that, about the rapper we talked about earlier, DJ Screw. I swear to God, if he had a communion of saints, if you will, for DJ Screw, he'd love it if you went into his church and drank a sip of promethazine. Would you rather drink lean or somebody's blood? Lean. My point proven. Totally. (laughs) You stupid. (laughs) DJ Screw was a Jesus No, no, I can't take this in. Okay. Oh, no. Hit the weed. Hit the weed. Not that shit. Can I hit that? You know I ain't suck. Uh... <laughs> hey, bro. But in other news, dog. Yeah, in other news, uh, SeaWorld is opening in two weeks. Nah, bro. Victoria's Secrets is closing. Ooh, hate that. These hoes ain't going to have nowhere to buy their bras and panties. Ooh, hate that. Sounds like a brawless summer to me. Columbus, Ohio just took a hit. <laughs> And Bath, Bath and Body Works is closing 50 stores. Are they really? I'm kind of happy about that because I'm tired of smelling that cheap-ass lotion on all these bitches. So when do you smell that? When you are by yourself at the mall and you go in there and people wonder if you're transforming, but maybe you're not? And what are you doing in there? I don't go to Bath and Body Works. I mean, you just what, said you did. No, I didn't, you idiot. I, that's what I heard. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. I heard you be taking baths and hand sanitizer. Yeah, whatever. You do. Okay, I take baths. And hand sanitizer. So what do you say if you know that? Hey, man, uh, turn this off. <laughs> yeah, get this off. Jesus. There's a lightning bolt about to strike this devil's this <laughs> devil's den. <laughs> Yikes. So how would you roast me if you knew oh, I were... Oh, what was that? What is that, a poltergeist? What? How, what is? Th- how oh, I wrote? shit! Wendy disappeared. <laughs> I wish I had a picture. There's a Wendy's. I'm from Memphis. There's a Wendy's right over the border in Mississippi that the main sign had a black Wendy's. Good. You know I what? Wish el- I had a picture. You I know what else? It. You know what else? Coronavirus is closing for forever. What NASCAR buffets? What kind of buffet? All of them. Sioux Plantation in L.A. is done. Ryan's Buffet, done. Golden Corral, done. Hometown Buffet, done. That's Forever so or for the near future? Sounds like it's done. They'll probably bring it back in like 200 years and act like it's something new. Seriously? <laughs> probably. What scares me about buffets is that's where overweight people can can binge and purge. Does that <laughs> not scare you all about that? You know what's I used to be a binger and purger. I used to eat candy bars and... What are you binging now? What what am I binging at now? Yeah. Gatorade ice. The lies. Huh? Mixed with what? Huh? Korean grape. You you you've been you 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 know who you remind me of? Who? I think I've said this before. That that character on uh uh Andy Griffith, Cuda Brown. Cuda Brown. Oh, you do, yeah. <laughs> he who always, is that? He always lit. Let's see a picture. He always lit. Cooter Brown. <laughs> oh, look at this. Cuda Brown, Andy Griffith. Devin the dude. There you go. No. Was it in Duke's? Is he a white yeah. guy? That's Cooter. Which one? Left or right? There you go. Drunk. Got a new voltage meter. Slick, huh? <laughs> That's who. <laughs> Cooter Brown. <Bride. laughs> now let's get in our Confederate so, so, flag. So it's not Andy Griffith, is this? Yeah. Okay. Dukes of Hazards. Dukes, Dukes, Dukes of Hazard. Just a little body damage. You tell them Just a little body damage. Body if you were a mechanic, how would you like that? I would say, what is this, a fucking Ford Taurus? I'm not working on this shit. <laughs> My wife's sick. I ain't working on trailer trash cars no more. You think I'm going to work on a Ford Taurus? That's not the most trailer trailer trash car you know the most what a ford taurus no i'll tell you which one is and i think both both of y'all will agree the dodge neon oh yeah (laughs) that was the most trailer trash car yeah that or like the pontiac uh grand 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 prix grand prix whatever that shit was (laughs) yeah can we put up a picture of the the dodge neon Neon. 
This was the car of the trailer. I like a neon Dodge Neon. Can you put on neon Dodge look Neon? At Bro, look at that shit. This one. This, yes. <laughs> the fucking car <laughs> of the trailers. I love it. What's wrong with that? Look That's at a look at it. Look, look, look. Uh, I hated the headlights. <laughs> the headlights of all of the Dodge Neons were yellow because they were made out of this plastic that just completely went to shit after like a year in the sun. So anytime you saw one of these cars, the headlights were always gross. They looked like piss. That's an older one. Or that's a newer one. That's look at Kia. Look at that. Look at that. That shit look horrible. Y'all are being pretty gross and nasty. What if I were to tell y'all that was my first car because my family couldn't afford another vehicle? Well, we know for that's me a lie. Oh, we that's a that's good a idea. Come on. What was your first year in car? Let's try to find a video of all of our first year in cars. Uh, the first my car. first car I loved. What was it? It was a 1994 Toyota Land Cruiser. Gray. 94. Oh. If I ever, and y'all, I'll be quite frank, if for whatever reason my comedy works out, it's probably not going to. But if it does, the car I'm going to buy is like a 94 Toyota Land Cruiser that somebody has fixed up so it's like new. There it is. It's what I drove. And mine was an 04 Honda Accord EX. I remember that. Green. That's what I was driving in, smoking dope, listening to Project Pat. <laughs> Is that, does that look Getting like it? drunk as shit. Yeah, but the gray version. That's like dark gray. Yeah, my comedy works out for whatever reason. I don't think it's going to. I'm going to buy but guess a what? You're the only 94 person, Land Cruiser. You're the only person in control of that. And you just can't let your your uh, vices get in the way. You feel me? What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. You really do. Do you think I have the ability... To get a Toyota Land Cruiser you can get, and fix it up? I think Do you, you think can. I can? I think you'll be able to make a million. What was your first car, Dave? 04 Honda Accord EX. I think you'll be straight, though. 2004? Yeah. Jesus, you're young. Yeah, 04. <laughs> <laughs> Honda Accord LX? <coughs> I think it was an EX. EX. Yeah, that Land Cruiser, though. That's there what we I go. What, what color was it? Green. That was your car. Did you have subwoofers in the back? Yep. What? A couple tens, couple twelves. I had uh, four twelves at one point. Four twelves. Yeah. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. Damn! Look at you. My shit was a uh, dark. Did you ever get a speeding ticket? Yeah, but I always got off. How come? God Your damn. relatives? Yep. <laughs> you ever get any kind of charge? Uh, none that stuck. <laughs> Your car is so new. I'm gonna show my age by just showing you what car. <laughs> <laughs> See what you had. <clears throat> Yeah, the only charge I ever got was going through a stop sign in Memphis. Mm-hmm. I got... I don't even know what the fuck that is. Renault Alliance. Wait, was it 84? That's it. How fast would you go? Is this when you turned 16 right now? <laughs> it's so old, they can only show it in the junkyard. <laughs> yeah, the junkyard. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Right. This look like a car you play. That was your first one. Yeah, that's Did my, your parents that's my give first it to car. You? I bought it for a dollar. Your parents give it a to dollar? you? A dollar? Yeah, I bought it for my cousin, and she sold it to me for a dollar for like insurance reasons or something like that. Maybe it was fifty bucks. Yeah. Uh, and it, we painted it all white, and there was a, bo- a bunch of damage in the back. And my dad taught me how to uh, do putty, like body putty and stuff. So we worked on it. Like it was like a. Did like, it make it look better? Oh, it looked like brand new when we were done with it because we painted the whole thing. We fit, did it matter I body if it rained everything. or snowed? No, it was like professionally nice. like done almost. Just until somebody smashes into it. Right, which I think happened. That's cool. Did oh, that yeah, happen? Here's the inside of it. Ugh. Mine was white, though. Everything was white and How black. fast did you take it? <laughs> not, not fast, like 60. What about you, David? How first fast day- did you take <clears throat> your vehicle? The first day I got my car, I never told this story because I didn't want my mom to hear it. The first, the first day I got my car, and well, when I got my car, it was with my mom. But when she let me drive, because I got my car before I actually had my license. I got it like three How months. How old were you? <clears throat> I was about to turn 16, but we got it like three, four months. Before, in Georgia? Yeah, before I had my license. So it was just like sitting in the yard, and she'll let me drive it with her to go to like the grocery store. Was it fun? Yeah, but I couldn't drive it by myself. So the first day I was able to drive it by myself, I had my cousin uh, Josh with me, and we took it on the uh, freeway, a freeway that we knew there were no cops, and we hit like 110. What? Yeah. Right and, off the bat, it's lucky y'all didn't hit some black ice or something. In Georgia. You no. wouldn't be here with us. Not in Georgia. One of the first times my cousin Andrew, uh, I was in his car right when he 
turned 16. We were going to Hooters on Mount Moriah in Memphis, very sketchy. And he hit a turn way too fast, and we almost died that hitting a to ball. Me. That happened to me. Got lucky, man. That's the weird part about life. <coughs> so during that time, fast and the furious. So on that same day, bro, I almost flipped my car over. I came out, and I hit it real hard, and I was trying to make a right to, like, uh, what was that shit called? Fishtail? Burnout and shit. And I crossed over a medium and hit both of my tires over the medium. Did you say medium? Median. Medium. Yeah, medium. It is called medium. Correct, no, Red Band? It's median. He median. called it medium? Medium. Median. Median. You said medium. Okay. Red Band, is that? But I, I David, hit, I'm goofing. I hit that shit. I hit Did that you? shit. Did you? Yeah. And I thought Scary. I, I thought I popped all my tires, and lucky enough, I didn't, because I was like, fuck, the first day. But We're then, all lucky all people die in car crashes. We're and, lucky. And then a year later, I was racing uh, on Zebulon Road, and I crashed into a Dublin pole. Zebulon Road? Zebulon? Zebulon, oh. yeah. I, Zebulon? Uh, I uh, crashed into a car, uh, 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 telephone pole. Almost Did lost you? my life, yeah. What happened? You had your seatbelt on? I was racing. Did anyone get hurt? Was no. it only you in the car? No, it was me and my buddy, uh, Rodney, riding with me. I was racing. I was racing this uh, How Nissan. How old were you, 16? Probably 17 at the time, dude. I was racing this uh, Nissan Sentra. And by the time I had put, like, a cold air intake on my shit, uh, like I said, Fast and the Furious was out. So I was doing all that, the loud... Yeah. Vroom, like, uh, all that shit. I had all the cold air intake, the fucking... And you crashed? I didn't do too much damage. I crashed into the... Uh, I crashed, so I was, it was a straightaway, and uh, I pulled out in front of him and, and won, but when I got to the stop sign, I was going too fast. I couldn't stop. And Were there you was hitting no, the brakes hard? Yeah, and they, it was too hot. Were you scared? I was sliding. It was no time to Were be scared. Were you scared? I was scared okay, afterward, okay. yeah. And so, um, I didn't want to crash into this fucking brick, uh, yeah. concrete wall, so I just did the best that I could to keep it. And your seatbelt was on. Yeah. I just held it as hard as I could, and I hit the curb. Boom! And then next thing I know, I hit a telephone pole. And Did I was, the cops come? Yeah, somebody called the cops on Were this. you scared? At least you weren't drinking, right? No. I, I didn't drink in high school. I didn't drink until I got like 22. So it was all right. And I almost hit my, but I, the, it, it hit the front fender on the driver's Did side. Did it scare you? Afterwards, yeah. Did it make you think about life? Nah, I was too young. It didn't. I remember. I was talking. ready to fix my car and start racing again, but somebody called the cops, and uh, I told racing the, again. I told the the guy in the Nissan Sentra to uh, just leave. I'll handle it. I said, just leave, leave, leave. And some fucking I got white relatives. Uh, some fucking Karen in the parking lot of Walmart called the cops and said that I was racing, and my mom came, and it was a big issue, and. She was like almost rest is history. She was like almost lost you. So then she got me a pickup truck after that. Nice, nice. <laughs> I do remember talking about the car crashes. I was a a senior at the University of Tennessee Knoxville, mm-hmm. Pi Kappa Alpha. I don't talk about the fraternity stuff. All I love being in yes, it. It was great. But no, I remember going to a a fall party when I was a senior. It was like rushing people. It was all big parties the beginning of the year, every year. Took a Xanax bar, which I don't normally do. Uh, nobody should take that. How did it make you I feel? took one of those. I got drunk. I was standing at the bar, fell down at the bar. Nobody tripped me. I just fell down. <laughs> I was in my black Volvo car filled up with people. I remember driving really fast, looking back. Just trying to scare people, and a telephone pole hit the right side mirror on my car. So a telephone that's pole, how close I was pole hit to you. slamming into a telephone pole. So you're telling me the telephone pole hit you? Horrible. You didn't hit it. Yes. Horrible. What kind of car was this? <laughs> Volvo. Oh. Volvo. Yikes. How did the telephone pole hit you? I was looking back, turned up. My car was <laughs> filled up with people. What were you listening to? Do you mind putting on Cadillacs on 22s by David Banner? We can't play that. Oh, oh. Yeah. You know how to copyright. We're getting to No, but yeah, David, talking about bad we're, crashes, we're, man, we're that's his point to, in time uh, where I got lucky, dude. Did it sober you up? If that happened, I wouldn't be here right now. Did Something it, bad would have happened. Did it sober you up? That night it did. 
but you not know, being funny <clears throat> saying it, but there it is. But you know what's crazy, bro? When my mom got me the pickup truck, Wendy's, the pickup truck was actually faster than the car because it was a V8. What kind? It was Dodge, a Chevy, Chevy, Chevy. F one fifty. That's a Ford. What does Chevy have? Silverado. 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 I love the that old school was... Chevy commercials with what's his name, who d- the great uh, or who I think you would like to sing. Like what a his... rock. Yeah, like a rock. <laughs> who was that guy? I can't remember. Type it in that commercial. Like a rock. Yeah, this is good. America is still a land of rugged individuals. Seeger. <laughs> I could be... Look at that guy in the wheelchair. I never paid attention to that. Go back. What the fuck? <laughs> Hold on. He's not in a wheelchair. Yes, he is. Oh, There's he Michael is. Lear. That's Michael, Lear. Michael That's Lear. Lear. He's hoisting him. No, 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 no. Will, Will, Will. My, okay, I'll put yeah, it up. Please. Look at that shit, bro. Hoisting himself up. <laughs> They, they, that's how they used to have to move people in wheelchairs in the, in the <laughs> 80s because they didn't have ramps anywhere. Damn. Especially if they were black. See, that's a roast thing. But it's not funny. You have to teach me. Because in my mind, David. But you know what's crazy? In front, unless people know you, roasting is so weird, bro, because like, I don't, if you did it like. What do you mean? What was your sentence going to end with unless people know you? What were you about? Unless to say? people know, like, say for instance, if you were to roast me in front of an all black crowd, and you were to say some black stuff, it wouldn't go too well. Unless they know me. Unless they know you. And there's one point in time on Kill Tony. I don't want to really bring it up. One of my favorite subreddits is Mass Killers, but I was talking about bringing a machine gun to a Kmart and shooting a bunch of people, and to this day. People we, send me messages about William. That you're going to so shoot up a Kmart? Cool. Yeah, I was going to shoot up a fucking Kmart. Hey, I we, was sick of shit. If we put an R&B song, if we put an R&B instrument alone, can you sing about shooting up a Kmart? Yeah, for sure. Hey, Red Band, can we get an R&B like, guitar instrumental? And don't mess this up, Red Band. But yeah, I David, I mean, that's <clears throat> what people talk about with the roast things. See racial. If can, see if you can find guitar. Yeah, like yeah, instrumental, free. Red band can't spell. Instrumental. Hurt. Hurt sounds decent. And this is about. Yeah, tell me uh, about shooting up that Kmart. What's up, y'all? Nineteen ninety-two. I had a forty-five pistol. Yeah. I was going out with some chip. Going out with a bitch. I put that pistol in my back pocket and drove to Kmart and my Fortora. We ain't shopping at Walmart. I walk into the Kmart. I don't care anymore. Uh, I go back by the fish. Back by the fish. I pull out my pistol for everyone to see. I am sorry, I am stuck in the sea. I'm looking at fish, I'm stuck in the sea. My yeah. pistol is hurting my back, y'all. And you still ain't shot nobody. I bring my pistol out on July 14th, 1996. Thank you, miss. Shooting <laughs> you. <laughs> pull that bitch out. I, I pull my hear pistol what out. It's about. I tell people to dive in the eyes then I shoot them in the legs and I shoot them in the middle part of their body then I shoot them in their heads they can't do nothing about it it's a Wednesday at a Kmart my mom works here she is an associate at the Kmart. I'm sick of the Kmart. My mom don't talk to me no more. So I go to the Kmart to kill a bunch of people by yeah, the yeah. fish tank. Yeah. The fish tank. Yeah. 
My mom is here, she works at the Kmart. I'm still by the fish tank. I'm shooting people at the fish tank, by the, the fish, fish tank. tank at the Kmart. Mom, what is... Red Band, why do you do the fucking dolphin <laughs> song? It's at the fish tank. <laughs> that was the best song I've ever right. sang on this Will, thing. Will, they never had a better was, song. That's the best thing I've ever done on this thing. That's the best thing I've ever done on this thing. And you do Flipper. And you do Flipper. You were by the fish tank. Faster than lightning. I don't buy it. Do you remember the Flipper song? See, that's why I'm not a roaster. I'm a comic that goes up on that stage and says something about, hey, what's up? I, I'm a pilot. Don't mind me. I just operate the flight simulator. And the ah. crowd go There he is. Yeah, it's just Flipper's opening. Bro, speaking of ocean, you heard about that wrestler who they found dead? Yeah, he oh, tried he so saved sad. his kid, I guess. I read about that. He said he said that he told the lifeguard when uh like save my kid. Go get, go help my kid first, you know, and then come back to get me. When they, Here is something I thought, not in a mean or any kind of way. Were they in that ocean with fucking wetsuits? I assume not. What? Isn't that ocean freezing cold? My point is, why were they in the ocean? It is cold, but it's, it's not like... It's freezing. It's not like to the point where you get hypothermia. Yeah, it's not that cold. WWE guy, yeah, he let his son survive. What I've heard with a riptide, Shot you go along with the riptide. Yeah. And then you swim, you just act, relax, and maybe float on your back. Yeah, but that's easy to swim say. That's I easy know, to I say. know. Yeah. I agree. I've been caught in a riptide when I was a kid, bro. It's scary. It looks like you're a swimmer. I can swim pretty good. I think I can swim better than you. Maybe. David, do you think maybe during our Olympic decathlon or whatever you want to call it coming up this summer, later this summer, mm. when we go against one another, should we have... Swimming, swimming events. Absolutely. What do you think about that, Red Man? Uh-huh. Do you know how to swim? Of your course. Bro, I've, I took swimming lessons as a child. I actually saw glowing waves the other day. I've been going to the beach like I every saw day. that on your thing. Yeah. How was that? It's dope, bro. Uh, it, bro, it's so crazy because like if you skirt your feet across the sand, you it'll the sand glows. The shit was crazy. Yeah, and I tried to go see it last night and it wasn't there. I don't know. Must be gone. But Can I give a moment of silence for someone real? Everybody's real. No, but I talk about moment of silences, D4L, you name it. My point is, I've been watching a bunch of Dateline on TLC or whatever, love Dateline. And I remembered University of Tennessee where I went, there was a guy, Ryan Edwards, a year or two below me in SA, either here nor there. They went down to Destin. They were doing acid. I probably shouldn't say that part, but he Too ended up now, diving into the ocean and died. So horrible. Some of my best friends were with him. I'll my say, point is the ocean is scary. I'll say this about the ocean. I've been at the ocean every day for like the last past two weeks, and it does not look like you should swim in those waves right now. What are you talking about? Like it looks too strong. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Historically, sort of my point's going to be, historically, black folks are not great swimmers. So is that coming from your point of view? Or we general? We shouldn't be. We were brought over here on a boat. We, didn't, we weren't forced to swim over here. Could you imagine being on one of those boats, maybe us three, just back in the day, we become buddies on the boat. Would y'all be black? Yeah. Red Band and I are black with you <laughs> on that boat, and it starts to sink. How scary would that be? And we're shackled up. We're shackled. Red Band, what are you screaming? I don't oh, know. Would you have scurvy? I might. I might have scurvy, but I might also have rollerblades. So you're like, William, you look pale. And I'm like, yeah, David, look at my feet. I have rollerblades on. <laughs> and you just say, hold on, what are you talking about? And I'd be like, bro, I took swimming lessons back in Africa. I don't know about y'all, too. And, uh, and I'd be like, David, I took swimming lessons at the YMCA in Memphis by the University of Memphis. 
So you'd be straight. So I'd be good. Uh, Red Band, basically, we're calling you out. Would you be all right? Mm-hmm. What is What the... F- oh, so is that some paint debacle? <laughs> That shit look crazy, bro. Would y'all honestly ever be in a situation like that? I saw this video like yesterday. Red Bin, would you? I don't go to Home Depot. Uh, I've never. I don't get really angry much. Unless what it's... scares me about situations like this, there was a buddy who went to the same high school I went to, buddies with my cousin years earlier. Mm-hmm. He had a father that was a big hunter, and the dad got mad at some other, like, dad and wife and murdered his ass in a parking lot in Memphis. And now serving time in jail. Just seems so insane. He's in prison. That people are He's like that. He's in prison, that. not jail. Oh, Yeah. I don't think I can make it in prison. That's why I would not, because I swear to God, I love to be packing heat. I love to be going through the (laughs) Wendy's lines, just shooting innocent people. The only reason I don't, I don't want to go to jail. I like mashed potatoes. That's the only reason you won't. I like mashed (laughs) potatoes. I like salmon croquettes. I like lasur peas. I don't get that in jail. That's you, what stops me. How do you know? What do you mean, how do I know? I know, I know some people in 201 prison. Poplar, Memphis Jail, where I'd go. They don't serve Le Soir Peas. You wouldn't go to Memphis Jail if you do something out here. Where would I go? The prison out here. How do you think I'd, I'd fare out here? If you got money, you'd be straight. How come? Just giving people part of my commissary? No, you can get whatever you... I know people in prison with phones eating real good. Mm-hmm. With Popeye's chicken sandwiches. We no, I guess my only point is, yeah. I have thing, that inside of me. I'd love to do, but I couldn't. The, I wouldn't want to go to jail. The bad thing, it would hurt more when you had sex in jail. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> you, you think your, People you, look at my bird penis you think and say, oh my God, William, there are barbs on your bird penis. You think your dick hurt now? Yeah. yeah. Uh, wait till you see me in August. <laughs> You're going to be shitting dicks. <laughs> right. See, that's a funny joke. And then you I don't. Ha- and then you're going to have to roll with the white boys. They're going to make you fucking keister all mm-hmm. type of shit. Yeah. Hey, what's up, y'all? My penis hurts now, but wait till you see me in August. What you going to do when you go to jail and they tell you to put a, a, a shank up your ass? Uh, do y'all have some Tylenol? <laughs> <laughs> do you have another question? <laughs> I can see that. Too. Yeah, do y'all have some Tylenol? Ow, you're hurts. shoving what in my bottom? Have you seen my penis? Hey, pull up a pull up a jail a jail shank. Let's see how big. Let's see. I have I've had to stop watching Forty Eight Hours because I have nightmares now. Oh Do y'all... shit! Will you gonna put that up your ass? Damn, that toothbrush one. Go down to the yeah, no, right no, there. That's not it. Woo! Yeah, this is a good shank right here. Damn, with those wooden pencils, and I make them real sharp. That's what I would tell people going into jail. So Do y'all see this mm. motherfucker? No, that's going to be in your ass, William. No, that's going to be in my right hand nope. when I dominate the jail. <laughs> yeah, right. What do you mean? Yeah, right. He lost 60 pounds. Look at him. this shit. Go down. And like, look at him now. It's this guy that got coronavirus. I mean, he was fucking buff. He's a race car Let's driver. read some of it. What does it say? Go down. Hey, how's it going? I was big into... Uh... Reading Shel Silverstein, I was a 50-pound man. A 25-pound man became my friend, and we came from different sides of town. Yeah, uh, I mean, the second picture, he looks like if that was him, he would look like, wow, that dude's really fit. But imagine if he got corona at the second picture. What he would <laughs> <laughs> I just li- I like that his Scatter. nipples are still poking out. Uh, what do y'all's nipples do? I have innies. Right now they're in. What Sometimes do you mean? What's your belly button look like? Any. Let me see it. Nope. Let me see your nipples. Nope. Red band, let Get me see your here. belly button. Get out of here. Let me see your nipples, dude. Get the dude. fuck out of here. <laughs> Let's see my... No, we nope. don't. No one Okay, I'm it. kidding. What's wrong with you, bro? Come on. I've had a lot... 
This yeah. past week, a lot's gone on. Next week, we're going to have an intervention for your ass. What are you talking about? In regards to witches? You think I still follow the devil? Well, you honestly talk and joke about shooting up a lot of places, and that is a huge red flag when it's, you know, multiple times, because you've said Kmart's, you've said... What are you going to try to say to me? And Larry, I'm on the edge. Larry just texted me. What are you saying to you, Naman? Hey, David, how's it going? Uh, if you don't mind, if you could just hold... Is it, are those commas when you're stopping? I don't get it. It's actually a semicolon. Okay. Uh, it makes sense. You're having really long pauses. Hey, David, how's it going? Uh, it's a total nightmare what William's doing on the air right now. He needs to get it under control and get his shit together. If you don't mind taking him to the Exodus Drug Treatment Facility oh, okay, okay. over in South Central California. Uh, South Central Nevada? I'm on my way to the airport right now to catch a flight so that I can meet you over there. But I see that. He's quickly spiraling hey, out of thanks, control. Hey, thanks, Dad. What car are you still driving in? That 94 black Ford Taurus? Are you still driving in that? <laughs> I don't get it no more. He painted it red. I don't get it no more. Painted it red? There it is. Uh, four years later, SHL. <laughs> I am, I'll... Bruh, the CDC is dropping so much crazy shit about coronavirus. They're saying that the coronavirus uh, spreads through farts. Yeah. And then they're saying that they found the coronavirus in people's sperm. Of course. I thought you were about to say bowling balls. So I've been bowling a bunch. If, if, any liquid or in a, a farts. If got coronavirus is in my sperm, why can't I just fucking jack off into a cup instead of getting that fucking thing shoved up my nose? Because I haven't married you and your wife yet. Because it doesn't taste as good. Yeah, I mean, long, are, that thing takes eight seconds. Maybe it's the year next. Get the year next. It's not this year. I remember y'all, quite frankly, my my mother's grandmother, I was her favorite grandchild, B. Vance. She had a purple Ford Taurus. I remember going to the movie theater to watch the movie October Sky. Just being in her Ford Taurus... Her smoking in there, fast forward to my father driving it after my brother had it. He has to get out of the Ford Taurus in the middle of Poplar Avenue in Memphis because the subwoofers start overreacting or Why something. Why do you say that like that, subwoofers? What are you talking about? Subwoofers. My grandmother, B. Vance, would have left you. There you go, bro. Look at that Taurus. There it is. Lunch lady car. A Ford, what do you mean? I used to have a Ford Taurus. My mom gave me her old Ford Taurus. That looked like that? It, uh, it was the model, I think, maybe after that or before that. I remember my grandmother really liked that. Infinities. Infinities had a car that looked like that. Mm. But that was like the cheaper version. Like now, like the Chrysler 300s, cheaper version of that. Infinity had a car with the back like that. Uh, Neither but, here nor there. It doesn't matter. I just remember that. When she gave it to me, though, I loved it because it felt luxurious, even though it was a sh- piece of shit. Talking leather interior? Yeah, I had. it was a show or whatever, but it was a, that's what mine looked like. But mine was gray, dark gray or something like that. Uh, just up in Ohio, driving down desolate roads filled with snow and ice, meeting up with David and I. Putting our roller blades on, putting our pistols in our pockets, listening to DJ Screw. I think I'm about to get another gun. What do you mean? Yeah. What do you currently have? A Taurus? No. Oh, that's a gun name, right? I don't like Taurus. What do you have? A Glock? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Is it in a uh, at a thing you'd have to put the numbers on? What are those things called? Safe. Yeah, safe with... Uh, hey, look, there's the Taurus. This is David's gun. No, it's not, is it? it? Is. Is I, th- I got a picture of mine. Let me find Do it. Do you have a gun, oh, Red Band? Here it is. He's the exact same one. Here's three. Watch him pull it out. <laughs> Do you have a weapon, <laughs> Red Band? I have three. I think I got a picture of it. Let me see if I can... You have three? Mm-hmm. I, I currently... I don't want to get too into it. I'm a little toasty right now. Um, I have a lot of haters on the internet. I just want to <laughs> let I just want to let y'all know I don't 
currently have any pistols, but I have a brass knuckles with a taser on the end of it. And I swear to God, if anyone tries to meet me in the backyard, there's a decent chance I'll try to punch at you. Maybe my taser hits you. But I don't have a gun. I'm scared to own a gun. I cannot believe y'all have guns. Does just, it not scare y'all? I just sent it to uh, Red Band. Where is it? You got the picture? It's a Glock. How much did it cost? It's a Glock 19. A few hundred dollars. There it is. I remember a couple a couple months ago driving here for that's, this podcast. That's in my Challenger. <laughs> that's your picture? Yeah. Are you worried that you might one night accidentally shoot me when I try to get in the passenger side? Mm-mm. Okay, fair enough. I'm a, I'm a, How come? Because of my attributes? Because I'm... Wait, I'm, do, you have a, do you have a conceal? No, I just be carrying it like that. That's stupid, dude. <laughs> That is, is that illegal? So yeah. It is illegal, but it's like I've never been pulled over in the clips. Well, don't. What if you dude, were pulled over? What would happen? I just play dumb. Like, I don't know what the fuck. Do you have, like, a license yeah, for it? Arrested. Yeah, no, no. Up I, here, do you yeah, have a license for it? Out here, it's really bad. Yeah, I know. But no, nah, it's, it's not in my glove compartment like that. Really. But for real, this picture was from uh, when I was going to someone's house in the hood, and I was like, I just posted a picture of it. I was like, I'm going. David, somewhere. don't you like to some extent? Again, I'm a rap aficionado. One of my favorite ones is Big L, who mm-hmm. ended up getting murdered. Aren't you glad, like, currently with your life doing the comedy, you do, isn't it, you don't really have to r- worry about this, do you? Like I mean, somebody murdering it? I feel like rap, maybe there's more of a chance. If or get, is there? I don't if know. If you're going to get murdered, you're going to get murdered. It don't matter what line you're in. It don't Does matter. it help you having that pistol? No. But I got a better chance. I mean, if you're going to get murdered, you're going to get murdered. What, what can you do to stop it? If a motherfucker wants you dead, you could have 30 guns around you. You're still going to be dead. But again, it, maybe it's positive. Somebody's a bad shot. Somebody kills you. I'm in the passenger side. I get your pistol. I shoot him, whatever. I accidentally shoot Red Band ow. when I. He does an owl. Ow. An owl? I mean, but there's hella rappers that don't get murdered. Just don't talk about stupid shit in your. Totally. Don't talk about stupid shit in your. Um... Unless you're Pop Smoke. What about that guy? I'm not fucking around with that. From the bro. East Coast. He's no Big L. <laughs> okay. He's no Big L. <laughs> Big L's a, a legend. Pop Smoke was a legend in New York. Was he? Yeah. I never heard of the guy. Because you don't live in New York. Which is fine. Right, right, yeah. right. A lot of people don't know who Big L is. Well, he's the best. Would you agree? You're drunk. Would you? Stop. <laughs> You're drunk. Stop. No, You're I'm not. Drunk, bro. You're drunk. What do you think that was? That was cran grape. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was cran grape. Motherfucker. Yo, Red you... Band, do you like Big L? Big L. William, Do you like Big L? William, your urine could run a car right now. That's how strong it is. That's pretty funny. <laughs> is that why you are a a comic that just tries to make fun of people? What you just fucking say to me? <laughs> We're friends. And you say that, oh, William's drunk. William's... My God, David. Stop. All right. Please. I've trusted you. All right. Your boy. Get some D4L. What is this? Not D4L. No, no, we'll, we'll definitely get shot off of D4L. Kid. I know, I'm kidding. And I was saying, All right, man. Go. It's that time, Red Band. It's that time. Freestyle that shit, William. Start that shit off. Are you ready, William? Let's mm. do it. You already had a hit R&B song. Y'all are called the ecstasy. The least you can do is buy the movie tickets. You look like a squirrel on chemo, nigga. <laughs> How's it going, y'all? Lava score with the chemo. I got cancer. I got the chemo. What of this past week with Mr. Nemo finding Nemo? Squirrel with chemo finding Nemo. What are the best odds of the bitch? But for real. 
Eight more weeks on lockdown. If it go past, I'm going to H Town. I might sip some syrup. I might drink some lean. I might buy some forces. You know they stay clean. Give me a white tea. Give me some camouflage. Give me a group of bitches. You know I stay large. I love to do that shit all day. I come back to North Hollywood. I don't play. 818. Back to Williams' crib. I make it rain. At your mama's crib. I broke a rib. I chipped my tooth. I throw 500 because I get loose. What's up, y'all? I'm at my mama's crib with David Lucas <laughs> with a gun in his head. He killed my mom tonight. We're on TLC tonight. First 48. They're going to catch David Lucas. They're not going to catch me, no. I've been at the casino with my mom and David Lucas. He killed my mom tonight. We're up first for the end tonight. I'm sorry for what happened, David. You need to drink some water. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll be back next week. Are we really brothers? Brother and Curse. 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 Are we really brothers? Would you tell me? Yeah. Brothers in Curse. David Lucas. William Montgomery. Brothers in Curse. Brothers in Curse. David Lucas. William Montgomery. Brothers in Curse. Brothers in Curse. Brothers in Curso, that's sort of fun, I guess. I don't really know. I don't know what it means. Either you get it or you don't. Hey, Red Band, can we start all of this over? Bro, what? Does <laughs> <it>? <laughs> Brothers in, in Curso.